So I am going to make this video on my history professor. Um, I'm not going to use his name for legal reasons. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know his name. Well, I do, but I don't try to remember it. So he's this Jewish guy, but he I guess he's not really Jewish because he's talking about how Jewish is passed on your like on mother's sides, like it's a maternal thing, and his mother wasn't Jewish but he always is wearing that hat and he's always talking about all the Jewish stuff he does and he speaks in like Jewish things and it's he's crazy um first thing I learned about my history professor was I came home to my grandma I was visiting my grandma I don't live with my grandma but I was visiting my grandma and I was like I have this crazy history professor and he's some weird Jewish guy and he's all talking about random stuff and She's like, oh, I think I know who he is. And we looked him up, and he was actually our old neighbor. And the thing about him is he has a wife and a girlfriend. And they both, like, they all live together in the same house. And he hasn't told our class yet, but my friend Ashley had him. And I guess he told her class, so strange. <laughs> and, to, okay, the first thing he said to us when we came into class was America is supported by Jack Daniels and camel cigarettes so he was like you need to try the 30 day camel challenge because there's this old commercial that say doctors prefer camels because they're healthier for you and he's like see they say it's healthy for you so you should smoke camels and try the 30 day camel challenge and he also said that we ha should have jack daniels all the time including breakfast and just today he showed us the epic mealtime video for uh it was like some breakfast thing and it was jack daniels and our teacher like memorized the video like he was quoting it all throughout class it was crazy he also says he also gave us a challenge that nobody i guess we all failed because nobody did it which was to come naked to class or at least like right like the guys need to wear dresses and the girls need to run around with their shirts off because that's what Native Americans did. And he was like, you guys need to do that. I mean, like, why is it so wrong now? Why does society have us wear clothing? And it was all about religious stuff and blah, blah, blah. And he was also saying that we should at least carry two uh, weapons with us. And they should, he was like, don't have it be a musket or a rifle because we were talking about those for the Revolutionary War, but have it be something, you know, deadly but so two weapons run around naked and then he says if you do this and get caught by the police and you tell them i said to do this he's gonna deny everything so he's pretty funny and then he was pretending to be a bear he was like it was the funniest thing he was because we, they were talking about how guns then didn't like really hurt the bear so they were like boom boom and the bear was like Rawr. he was like running around like this and then like boom boom and the bear's like grrr and then they'll get eaten <laughs> he goes on to say that how they figured out they needed a bigger weapon because it's no fun to get eaten by bears it, it's probably bad so this is my history teacher who i actually really enjoy a lot of people think he's crazy um ashley who had him hated him but i find him slightly interesting actually more than slightly interesting i find him very interesting it's very funny to listen to and sit in his class and we don't he's one of those people who are like you don't need to learn anything he wants you to think so it's not about learning it's about thinking i don't know it was something like that i guess you're learning through thinking but he we don't ever study anything we're supposed to in class it's just talking about random shit all the time so that is my video on my history professor. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions about him or any of my other teachers or anything else you want to know, just message me and I will be more than happy to answer them. Hope you guys have a good night.